Yo, listen. Today we got some of the biggest news in SoFi's history. If you a SoFi shareholder, you NVIDIA shareholder, hit the like button on the way in. This news today is the biggest yet. So I just want to congratulate all shareholders, man. If you've been in the company, if you know about the company, Zane, can you chill out? Let's not open this window. All right. Now you can't open the window. So today, it has now been confirmed. Straight from NVIDIA's website. Straight from NVIDIA.com. It has been confirmed. The SoFi partnership. Confirmed. Straight from NVIDIA website. NVIDIA offers various benefits in partnership with SoFi. Including home loans, student loan matching and student loan refinancing employees can buy homes with a low down payment through SoFi receive up to $30,000 in student loan matching and refinance student loans with additional benefits like a welcome bonus if approved additionally and video supports employees with well-being programs financial planning services and retirement services so about a month and a half ago, we had the Chipotle partnership, and today, today we got the NVIDIA partnership confirmed. And just maybe on the horizon, you know what might be coming this earnings? You know what confirmation might be coming? You know what confirmation might be coming this earnings? Courtesy of Travis. Is Citigroup the secret bank client? On Monday, SoFi CFO said we've completed a large POC with a top five U.S. bank. If it was J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, he would have said top three U.S. bank, meaning it's either Citigroup or U.S.B. C was a previous client of Technicus in Latam. So they already have connections to SoFi. Now let's assume it's City. For a moment, they have 200 million accounts globally. Consider that. As of Q4, Galileo's total accounts were 145 million, meaning that if Citigroup is the secret client, they alone would more than double Galileo's accounts. Once their 200 million in global accounts migrate over. Saying, hold on, baby. Let me finish getting this out there. I have this piece. So we got NVIDIA uh, confirmed. What is a and Citigroup confirmation Bye. might be coming. Which are over double. Papa, I need to go pee. The accounts we already have with Galileo. Papa, hey, yo, listen. What's, What's up, baby? Bathroom? Hold on one second. I got one more thing to read. Y'all ready for this? According to Future Business Insights, the global fintech market is estimated, Zane, hold on one second, to be worth $882 billion in 2030, signaling a compound annual growth rate of 17% between 2023 and 2030. That sets the stage well for high growth fintech companies such as SoFi. During the fourth quarter, SoFi reported adjusted revenue growth of 34% to 594 million. At the time, shares of SoFi stocks are down nearly 30% in 2024. Fortune added that the pandemic acted as a major tailwind for the adult. Listen, you guys can read the rest of this for itself. But today's a huge day. Fed meeting coming up. Where we at right now? Where do y'all have a chance to buy at right now? Mm -hmm. 7.14. We on the way back up. <laughs> Our shorts getting squeezed now. Later. <laughs> Top five fund managers. Been buying this up. Kathy Wood bought 22 million shares last week. Y'all want the names of those managers? So y'all don't think I'm just talking? 
That's what y'all want? Bear with me. And if y'all don't mind. In the meantime, in between time, hit that like button. I'm going to get you those names. Or those top five fund managers that's holding SoFi. Right now, that's been buying up all those shares. Besides the fact that it was confirmed. When JP Morgan was blasting this company, all they was doing is scooping up these shares. Just like Goldman Sachs was. It's confirmed in black and white, man. It's no stopping this company. They all want it. They all want SoFi. They know what's going on. They understand what's going on. And with companies like Pagaya. In the back end. Who's stopping this company, man? Let's keep going. In the morning. Vanguard, 81.4 million institutional ownership in SoFi. BlackRock, 40.4 million institutional ownership. Silver Lake, 31.1 million. State Street, 16.1 million. Two Sigma, 11.7 million. ARK Invest. That's been updated since. It says 6.7 million. Now we're at 22 million. Let's find these fund managers. Let's find these fund managers that's been scooping up all this so far. Y'all ready? Everyone's talking about Kathy. Salute to whoever put this up. Everyone's talking about Kathy, but I also noticed some legendary fund managers in SoFi, per the latest 3F filings. Paul Tudor, Jones, and Jim Simmons are SoFi bulls, okay? Now let's get to this. Tudor Investments, Paul Tudor, Jones. Value owned, 4.79 million. Dimensional Fund Advisors. 38.58 million. Armatized Capital, Stephen Boyd, 185,000. Renaissance Technologies, Jim Simmons, 2.24 million. R Capital Management, Cliff Asnes, 1.7 million. Listen, they're all grabbing as much SoFi as they can at these levels. The growth rate is projected at 17% to 880 billion. I think that's a low ball figure. You think SoFi's not grabbing half of that fintech space? Minimum? You don't think we're going to get minimum 400 billion by then? You don't think so? You guys know we're at an $8 billion market cap. Less than that now. We have 7 billion something or less. nobody doing this like so far it's a reason anthony noto said what he said he thought we was gonna have more competition he didn't think we was gonna blow everybody out of the water like that he wasn't even being cocky he's being honest man he was just being honest man that's what it is nvidia partnership just confirmed y'all was just scooping up these shares shorts are panicking man the fun's about to be done son it's over with. Salute. I'm out of here. Let's get to this meeting, man.